This is Jeff Zerebeck from the Baltimore Sun. The second day of the joint practices between the Ravens and Eagles at the NovaCare Complex have just concluded. And I, I think this was more of what we all expected uh, from these workouts between the two teams. Today's practice was much more faster paced. I thought the teams got after it a little more. It was harder, hi is harder hitting than yesterday. I think yesterday people were still feeling each other out a little bit, uh, trying to find out, you know, uh, what they could get away with, uh, what they were going to do. And today was wasn't as much as that. You know, there's th at least three altercations. DeAndre Wesley, a r undrafted free agent for the Ravens, took a swing at one of the Eagles linebackers. Uh, Will Hill, um, you know, either a swing or a forceful push in the face of uh, Eagles wide receiver Josh Huff and Albert McClellan, who's a willing combatant as usual during uh, e Ravens summer practices. He also got into it with a Philadelphia Eagle. But again, you didn't see the type of brawl uh, that you saw at other joint practices around the NFL this summer. Uh, all the incidents dissipated pretty quickly. Um, as far as on the field matters, again, look, I, I don't make too much of this. You got to remember the the Ravens today, they sat Terrell Suggs, Daryl Smith, and Chris Canny for, uh, you know, veteran days just to give them a day off on offense. Uh, they still don't have Rashad Perryman. They've been playing two or three offensive linemen short at different times. Uh, they're still incorporating young wide receiver group. But, you know, I think the Eagles have looked a little sharper than the Ravens, you know, especially when they did two-minute offense today. Uh, the Eagles' offense went down the field pretty quick while the Ravens' offense, first-team offense, stumbled a little bit. So, uh, you know, I don't think the first-team offense of the Ravens has been that sharp over the last couple days. Uh, but, again, I don't read too much into it. They're keeping these practices pretty vanilla from terms of what they're running. Uh, they're also running certain things that the Eagles know about. So, uh, overall, the two stars for the Ravens today at practice were wide receiver Darren Waller and uh, rookie tight end uh, Nick Boyle, both draft picks. There hasn't been, uh, you know, there wasn't a ton of talk about Nick Boyle as a pass catcher, but I think he's probably made more plays receiving than any of the Ravens in these past couple days. It's not been flawless. Boyle's fumbled a couple times. He's dropped a couple passes, uh, but, you know, he's getting open, running routes, and he's very physical. So, uh, again, a guy that I don't think is going to be confined to just a blocking role. He looks like he can make plays, too. And then as for Waller, uh, Philadelphia officials have just been raving at what they've seen about the rookie out of Georgia Tech. I think the perception coming in, because Georgia Tech doesn't throw the ball a lot, was that Waller was a little bit of a project and it would take him a little while to get going. Uh, but if we're judging by the plays he's made so far in camp uh, and, and some of his abilities, this guy's going to be plenty capable of helping the Ravens immediately. And he certainly played his way into that conversation for that third and fourth wide receiver role. From Ravens and Eagles joint practices at NovaCare Complex, this is Jeff Zrebeck for the Baltimore Sun.